How did you, so you talk about a uh, long journey. How did you end up in the, the Norfolk area? And how <laughs> yeah, long so, here? Yeah, so uh, I've been here for 18, uh, I've been here for, tw- oh, shoot, let's see. Uh, here you go, public. I'm 38 years old. So uh, I've been here since I was 17. So 21 years. Um, I, I, my father, um, he passed away about nine years ago. But my father was a, you know, it, my my father is it can identify with so many people. My dad always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Man, he wanted to be an entrepreneur. And but he had the government plus job that he just could not walk away from because it was too difficult to walk away from that job and truly become an entrepreneur because of the uncertainty. And, but what he didn't realize is that he was passing that on to me, that, that desire and passion. And uh, so we moved here when I was 16 and at 17, he, uh, you know, he told me, Hey, look, I got another job. And he was always big on chasing, chasing the, the money. And, those who understand the government role, he was a GS-15 when he retired. Um, but he, um, you know, he was always chasing the position or the money. And uh, at 17, I just said, hey, look, I'm, I'm going to go move in with my friend. And, um, you know, if you can help me, that would be great because it's going to be really tough being 17, can't sign contracts and being on my own. But uh, I really don't want to go. And uh, my dad, my dad, look, he was, he was a great encourager. And he's like, look, if you have a plan, I'm not going to get in the way. And uh, so I'll, I'll help you. And he did. He helped me a little bit. Um, and been here ever since. What's uh, so, and what's keeping you here? Have you had any? Have you looked at other places to move to? Go back to California or anything? Well, we're we're certainly being courted by other states uh, with magazine jukebox. They would love to have us in their states. Um, uh, we've had conversations with people down in Florida. You know, Florida and Texas are kind of like you know these hot spots right now um, that where they really want to grow. You know, the tech business. Um, but you know, look, Virginia has always been good to me. And uh, I love this area. I love that I can drive a couple hours and be up in the mountains. I can drive a couple of minutes and be out in the water. And, um, you know, I just, and I love Hampton Roads. I think Hampton Roads is just a, such an amazing place. And then, of course, the military background of, of my family, my father's in the Navy, my father-in-law, uh, you know, they're both just incredible men. My father-in-law is a retired colonel in the Army. <coughs> Excuse me. They, uh, we have, uh, my wife and I, we have three siblings that are all captains in the Army. And, um, you know, uh, being right here with the, you know, the largest Navy base in, in the world is, is just incredible and it's, and it's inspiring. I mean, to see, to see these ships, I mean, if anybody hasn't seen these ships up front or up in person, man, you are just missing out. I mean, it's like, how in the world do they even, like, I always wonder, like, how you can, go, you can say, go get on, well, at least you used to be able to go get on the Wisconsin and just walk through it too. Yeah. Which for well, like ten bucks or something is pretty incredible. Well, I t- I took my son. That's the one in Norfolk, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I took my son to that for the first time. My son will be five here soon, and uh, I took him on that for Christmas. They did this huge Christmas lights. It was really really cool. But and they did a great job, uh, especially in light of COVID. You know, with what they could. But um, but what's amazing, I always think of like that architect is he's like, hey, we're going to design a ship. Okay, cool. Where do we start? Right. Like, good lord, like. Uh, we're going to start with this little piece here and we're going to get these little rivets and, you know, like, it's just, it's just absolutely and it fascinating. it takes 10 years to build something like that. It's, it's a it's, long time. It's pretty crazy. Uh, they, they push them out pretty quick now. I mean, we're one of the fastest, you know, our country is one of the fastest to be able to push stuff like that out. But, um, but yeah, it, it does take quite a bit of time as it should, right? Like it, it shouldn't be done overnight. I mean, who wants to be on a submarine that was built in a year? You know what I mean? Like, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the monstrosity that is these these things. I've been directly involved within our entrepreneurial community for years. And the most common question I get is, Tim, I want to get involved, but I don't know what events I should attend. Well, Startwheel eliminates that pain point because we consolidate all the events you should attend into a single calendar. Now you'll be in the know and see where to spend your time. Gone is the need to search multiple websites and calendars. Just head to startwheel.org and see for yourself. That's startwheel.org. 